Welcome to the presentation and demo of our main group project of wireless sensor systems and network course. And here I, SK Naimuzaman and MD Sharif Ahmed, we will demonstrate and present our work. So actually, in this project, we try to implement a smart inventory management system featuring QR code scanning. So and in, for this project, we, the, the device we here used is the Raspberry 3B Plus here, as you see in the video that this is the Raspberry device. And here we use the camera model here. This is OB5647. And this camera was integrated with the OpenCV platform. So in this project, we actually tried to uh, downloaded QR code from internet and so that uh, is so where we listed product details in the QR code so these data were stored in as a CSV file so, and this system we added a security feature that authenticates the appropriate and appropriate salesperson who is operating the device after this step the authorized person can securely use the devices so the the scanned data then is fed to the Google Cloud and and we actually tried to use that cloud data and we applied machine learning there to predict the future inventory data and sales. So, and later part, in another part, we actually tried an, another project on facial recognition at the edge device. So actually we did it in the Raspberry Pi model. So uh, now uh, MD Sharif Ahmed will demonstrate the operation of the of our project. Uh, thank you for giving me the floor. I'm MD Sharif Ahmed. Uh, right now I will describe uh, our uh, project details. Uh, here we started the first program uh, that will detect the face and authenticate person who can scan the uh, QR code. Here we can see that our director we like uh, started this program and uh, it, with the camera it uh, right now it uh, can detect that uh, it's a scan amazon but it's not authenticating these things so for the authenticate things uh, right now we will uh, change the user uh, the the first uh, portion we found that like uh, with the uh, detecting uh, scan amazon it's not authenticating those things uh, so right now uh, i'm in the code i can show in the code i'm authenticate me uh i mean md uh, so that I, it will go to the next step for this purpose so re right now i'm trying to detect uh, my face this model it's just detected and uh, whenever it detected this model then we can see that uh, another uh, uh, pop-up up. Yeah, yeah pop up and uh, that things uh, for uh, with this frame for qr code scan so right now we will uh, uh, like scan QR code. Uh, uh, so we can see this one. Possible. Here uh, we uh, opened uh, the QR code and we will try to like uh, scan this one. Uh, so if uh, it's a scan so uh, we have to adjust the brightness as uh, we are using the uh, like uh, not uh, the printed copy so we have to be careful about the like the we can see that uh, it's like pop up for two times it's showing and in this program it also showing so right now we will go to the the cvs uh, csv mm -hmm. file so in the csv file we can see this uh, it's like it's right now uh, 10 26 and is it is scanned for uh, like once but in the program we can found that it is scanned for multiple times i put the logic that within 20 seconds it will not uh, scan multiple times i mean with 20 seconds it will scan only for once and uh, it, this uh, uh, csv file uh, is created in the like program location and from this CSV, uh, CSV file we can do uh, machine learning and other things uh, we implement in the cloud and on the device later uh, we are showing those things uh, here uh, the code we uploaded uh, uh, we uploaded for uh, to uh, train the model uh, from the cloud and uh, here we like took some sample data uh for easier to train the model and uh, we keep the model simple so that we can implement these things in the cloud yeah in the is 
so right now we are here we can see that we are running these things so it's started it's started here we can see that here there is nothing here like default things so whenever it will train we will find that here we will find that like we provided uh, 100 epochs and later we uh, like we can see that uh, like the tensorflow light model is also here we can see uh, we, if we refresh then we will find that things also right now we can see that my model uh, h5 is uh, already created and my model uh, tensorflow light model also created uh, for with that uh, these things we did in the cloud so with the tensorflow light model uh, this is our like trained model our own custom trained model and with this tensorflow uh, light model we will implement these things in the our local device so uh, we simply can download these things in our device in our device we uh, like uh, this is my model uh, tensorflow light then we uh, we will run these things uh, from our own device so like uh, i previously downloaded this model also so we can replace that model with this uh, uh, light things so we um, i'm opening uh, tensorflow uh, light uh, code so that we can uh, demonstration how it predict the simple model and another thing i like i i would like to show we can show uh, these things how uh, how it's uh, are looking uh, the model with the neptron cut up it uh, with uh, the Neptron website, uh, we opened our TensorFlow Light model and uh, we can see that it's a simple model. Uh, I mean, we can check this model is like uh, built properly or not with this website. So later, uh, right now we will uh, predict here, we can see that uh, with the TensorFlow Light runtime interpreter, uh, we will check this one if our, uh, like my model, TensorFlow Light model is working properly in the device. It's thorny and we are using these things in the device, not in the cloud or other stuff. So we will run these things. So here we uh, like uh, provided so, uh, some sample data uh, and we see that like it's running properly uh, in our device or not. We can see that it's like we are getting the prediction values here. So we uh, did successfully uh, implemented TensorFlow Lite in the S and uh, especially uh, i would uh, we would like to would thanks, like to thanks dr. Dr. dr tamil uh, and, and dr uh, dr tamil and dr prabha uh, for like this amazing course and uh, guidance uh, over the semester and thank you so much